How's it going everybody? Blake here and this is Rambling Movie Takes coming at you with a movie review for Zack Snyder's Justice League. Alright, so I got an early screening for Zack Snyder's Justice League uh, this past Saturday. To my surprise, I did not expect to get it, but, well, I got it. And, guys, this movie, <laughs> whoo, it was awesome. It, it was it was so damn good, man. I enjoyed the hell out of it. Now, this is a non-spoiler review. I'm not going to get into spoilers with this review. And, uh, you know, so, so don't worry about me ruining anything for you. I'm not going to. You know, I just want to give some general thoughts. You know, I'm going to save, you know, some more, you know, in-depth stuff for uh, the spoiler review that I'm going to do in the coming days. But for right now, I just want to give you my general thoughts. I love this movie. All right. It, it, it's amazing. Now, going into it, I expected it to be more like Batman v Superman. That's what I expected. And I expected that that was why, you know, Warner Brothers did not want this version of the movie to come out. Was because it was just too closely, it, it too closely resembled uh, BBS. Which, you know, we all know that. Batman v Superman, BBS, it was a very divisive movie. Um, and Warner Brothers was very scared by that, obviously. So, they played it very safe with this movie. It was surprisingly... Uh, I, I was very surprised with Zack Snyder's direction with this movie because... I honestly feel like this is a more, it, it feels more like a mainstream, normal, normal uh, superhero movie. It was, it was made for the general audience while respecting the fans of Man of Steel and Batman v Superman. Which I personally appreciate because the 2017 movie that we got... They basically told us fans of Man of Steel and Batman v Superman that we didn't matter. They they basically told us that that you know they were just they're they basically saying this is what we're doing, take it or leave it, uh, just consume basically, and that pissed a lot of people off. You know, it pissed me off. You know that they disrespected us fans as much as they did with that movie because they cared more about you know appeasing you know a certain sect of the audience i guess the majority of the fans you know out there majority of the moviegoers the casual moviegoers they cared more about catering to them than catering to this established fan base that that loved you know the the previous two movies it, it just wasn't right. You know, I, I get it. You know, it's a business move. It was a business decision. You know, you got to appeal to the most, the most people possible for these movies to be profitable, you know? But the thing is, I feel like Zack Snyder with this movie, like I said, he made a movie that is accessible to the average moviegoer, but also respects the fans, the established fan base. And at the end of the day, for me personally, I can't speak for everyone, but that's enough for me. I understand that BBS didn't work for a lot of people, but and, and you know what? I can accept. I can accept that. Okay, I can accept that. But I still feel like there needs to be compromise. You know, you have to find a balance between making us fans that were happy with those movies and, you know, making new fans happy. You have to find a balance. I feel like Zack Snyder did that with this movie. I honestly do. Because, I mean, it, it has everything. It has it has action. It has drama, it has comedy, uh, I mean, it's, 
it's got everything. It's got horror. It's even got horror, you know? It, it's science. It's got a science fiction vibe to it. It's a really cool movie. It, it really is. And, you know, the thing is, people are either going to love it or they're going to hate it. But anyways, you know, this, this movie, all right, Zack Snyder's Justice League, it has so much depth, all right? The, the characters are, are so fleshed out in this movie. You know, a lot of, a lot of fans or a lot, yeah, a lot of fans that have been following the Snyder Cut movement know that Zack Snyder said that Cyborg is the heart of this movie. The character Cyborg, he is the heart of this movie. And he really is. He really is. He's, he's, he gets a lot of attention in this movie. You know, he, he is pretty much the central character, it seems like. Um, you know, my favorite, you know, character in this movie, you know, look, I'm a big Batman fan. I love Batman, and this movie does Batman so well. Ben Affleck gets so much redemption in this movie because the 2017 Justice League that movie did him no favors at all. And this movie, he gets so much more respect. He, he's, he's the Batfleck from the Batfleck. He is the Batman from, you know, BVS. But he's, he, he's, he's come a long way since the events of Batman v Superman. And that, that's just, I don't know. He he's normal Batman in this movie. He's not Batman that's lost his way. He's Batman that has found his way again, and he's trying to form a team to to fight this this looming battle. You Wonder Woman fans out there, you know I personally did not like Wonder Woman nineteen eighty four. You know I didn't hate it as much as some people, but I really did not care that much for it. And this movie. Gave me the Wonder Woman back that that I really appreciate, that I really love. And, like, Gal Gadot freaking slays it in this movie. She is so awesome. She is so freaking good in this movie. Her fight scenes against the villain Steppenwolf in this movie. Mm. So good. So freaking good. That's the warrior princess right there. That, man, that's Xena. But anyways, you get it. You know, the, the, the warrior Amazon. You know, the take no prisoners, no whole bars. You know, just badass. Wonder Woman is kick-ass in this movie. And you get so much more of her. And also, you know, the Flash is, you know, Ezra Miller. He does a great job as, as the Flash in this movie. You know, I didn't really care much for him in Justice League. In this version of the movie, in Justice League, Zack Snyder's Justice League. I, I really, really enjoyed uh, the way he played Barry Allen, the Flash, in this movie. It really worked for me. And, uh, you know, uh, Jason Momoa, you know, he's Aquaman, you know, in this movie, and... You know, this takes place technically before the Aquaman movie that came out in, I believe it was 2018. And, you know, it doesn't perfectly line up with that movie. You can tell that the director of Aquaman definitely retconned some things from this movie because, you know, I guess... I, I don't know, man, but it, it's a little frustrating. It, it's a little, it's a little weird. You know, I, I don't think I could watch Aquaman the same way again. You have Henry Cavill back as uh, Superman. You know, it's no secret. You know, Superman. You know, Superman is in this movie. He survived. You know, his his death. Uh, well, he didn't really survive. He got killed. But they bring him back in this movie, and there is some great Superman action in this movie, you know, I, I don't want to say too much, I don't want to say too much, uh, but also, you know, some of my criticisms, like, 
Like, I have a lot of great things to say about Henry Cavill as Superman, but there are things that happen in this movie, certain certain moments that annoyed me a little bit, and I, I was just kind of like, you know, why go there, you know? <laughs> and then you have the villain Steppenwolf, who got a major upgrade for this movie because... You know, if you remember the 2017 movie, you know, see, this is the original Steppenwolf. This was the original design that Warner Brothers said was too scary for little kids. So they changed this version of Steppenwolf to this version for the 2017 movie. And it was like, you know... This doesn't look like Steppenwolf from Batman v Superman. It, it just further proves that 2017 Justice League was meant to be an overall, you know, retcon of BVS, which makes it even more frustrating. Anyways, um, Steppenwolf is a badass in this movie. He has so many badass action scenes, and this Joker is ruthless, all right? Like, he, he has something to prove in this movie. He's trying to get back to the planet Apocalypse. He's trying to get back into the good graces of his of his Lord, uh, Darkseid, who is really the overarching villain of this movie. He is the threat that the League has to defeat Steppenwolf so that they stop this mother lover from coming to Earth and uh, wrecking havoc. Um, because, uh, yeah, dark, dark side. That, that, that Joker right there, uh, he, he's legit. He's not easily beaten. Uh, yeah. And speaking of dark side, dark side it makes an appearance in this movie. And I knew he was going to. I didn't know how much screen time he was going to get. But he got a decent amount. I'm not going to say specifically how much because this is non-spoilery. But he gets a decent amount of screen time. And, and he, you know, i got to say, man, Ray Porter's voice, his dark side voice, was awesome. Dark side, and and there's there's one scene in this movie. I, I don't like I said no spoilers, but there is a scene in this movie. It's may, maybe a slight spoiler here. It's a slight one. It's very slight. Okay. Uh, Cyborg has a vision at one point that that really that shows some stuff going down, and you know you 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 get you you, you get some dark side. Okay. You you see the threat that this Joker is and why he needs to be, why Steppenwolf needs to be killed and why Darkseid needs to not come to Earth. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, I really love Darkseid in this movie. I, it, was, it was so cool to see Darkseid in live action and also decide. You know, Desaad was great as well. Desaad is honestly a bigger character in this movie than I thought he was going to be, to be honest with you. Uh, and, and I love the looks of these characters, by the way. Uh, the look of Darkseid in this movie is absolutely fantastic. And the look of Desaad is absolutely fantastic as well. So you do get a special, you know, a, a lot of people already know who the cameo appearance is. Uh, I'm not going to spoil you, but this character does make an appearance. And I personally thought this character looked pretty damn cool. I I, I, I want to see more. I definitely want to see more. Um, but, yeah, guys, this movie is an absolute spectacle. It is amazing to look at. It's an absolute beautiful movie every frame of every scene looks like a painting like you're going to hear that a lot from a lot of different people 
but it's the truth. It's such a beautiful movie to look at, and that's just something that Zack Snyder does. You know, he makes beautiful looking movies. Regardless of what you think about this movie or Batman v Superman or Man of Steel or any of his other movies, you can't deny that his movies are just absolutely gorgeous to look at. And if you, for some reason you can deny it, I just, I don't know what to say to you. Also, I want to mention Jared Leto's Joker. Look, we all know that he's in this movie. They've advertised him, you know, we know he's in the movie. And this was part of the additional photography that Zack Snyder did for this movie, the stuff that he just did months ago. And uh, Jared Leto was phenomenal. Look, I'm not a big fan of Suicide Squad. I don't really care for that movie. And I don't care for that version of the Joker. And even though it's the same actor and Jared Leto, this is a different Joker. Now, I'm not saying he's the best Joker. I'm not saying that that he's, you know, they changed the game and that, you know, he all future Jokers should aspire to be Jared Leto. I'm not saying that, okay? What I'm saying is that he does a great job. And you don't get a whole lot with him. You know, it's it's not a, you know, check your expectations with that. You don't get a whole lot with him. But you do get a decent amount. And, um, not, well, not even a decent amount, really. You get enough. You get enough. Uh, it, it's really cool. It's really, really cool. Uh, the, the lines that Jared Leto says as the Joker, uh, he, there was one line in particular that I was like, oh, you, you really went there, Zach. Okay. Uh, all right. Yeah. It's, it's a Zack Snyder movie. <laughs> but, but yeah, guys, I mean, I guess that's pretty much the review. I don't really think there's a whole lot else to really cover of, of note, really. I mean, they're supporting actors in this movie, obviously. You know, Amy Adams, you know, she was she was great. Give her her due. You know, it seemed like with uh, the 2017 movie, you know, a lot of her scenes got reshot. And, you know, she was just kind of coasting along and just kind of phoning it in. You know, this movie, you get her, her actual performance and you get, you just, you get everything. And... You know, she she did great in this movie. Same with Diane Lane, who, you know, she don't get a whole lot to do in this movie, but, you know, for the scenes that she's in this, in, in this movie, she is great. She is, she's phenomenal. Uh, you know, I, I don't think I'm missing, I mean, Jeremy Irons, yes, Jeremy Irons as, uh, as Alfred. He got a lot more to do in this movie, and, uh, you know, he was actually Alfred in this movie, and he, he, did a, he did a great job. Jeremy Irons did a great job. I liked him a lot more in this movie than I did BVS, and I really like BVS, so I like the way he was portrayed in BVS. You know, he's a more hands-on Alfred, and he's still a very hands-on Alfred in this movie, but he's also more... Alfred in this movie if that makes any sense but yeah anyways guys that's that's the review uh I, anything else I'm gonna start diving into spoilers and I don't want to do that I'm, I'm gonna make a whole nother video where I talk in depth and I go into things that I liked and disliked about the movie but there's not a whole lot that I disliked and for the most part I think this is a great movie I am so happy that it exists. I'm glad that we finally have it. And I can't wait till Thursday when I can watch it again and again and again until I get tired of it, which I don't think will ever happen because I still watch BBS to this day and Man of Steel, you know, a lot. Because I really love those movies. And this one, you know, it, it completes the Zack Snyder trilogy. But hopefully... Hopefully, we get more. Hopefully, they restore the Snyderverse. You know, Warner Brothers or HBO Max. 
Hopefully the Snyder Burst gets restored. Because I want more. I want more, damn it. But, um... But, yeah. Uh, we'll see what happens with all that. You know. But, yeah, guys. That's all I got. If you like this review, please do like, share, and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And, uh... Yeah. Until next time, I'm Blake. And this has been... Rambling Movie Takes.